founders of the Cal Poly and Hoover Borders India team and the current technical design lead. Our India team officially began in the fall of 2009 with only a handful of students, but has since then grown to over 40 members working to build and make a difference in Sanji. Shortly after starting our research, uh, we made contact with the Garwal Organization for the Upliftment of the Needy, uh, our partner NGO now, and they've really been our foundation since then. They've been amazing to work with, uh, a great group, and they've really helped us establish ourselves in the community and helped build trust. Uh, my name is Kumar Singh Chauhan, and I'm from Sanji village, which is um, in Teddy Garwal district of Uttarakhand, India. I have been uh, uh, leading my community for 20 years in the panchayats, first as a Pradhan and then as a member for district panchayat. We invited uh, engineers without borders also and, uh, and villages were very excited. You know, we are hoping that in future we'll have more projects uh, through Engineers Without Border and uh, we hope to work with them for years to come. Okay, well, I'm Lori and uh, I'm one of the co-founders of our organization. My husband is the other co-founder. <laughs> We started uh, about three years ago, just after we got married, and uh, our core project right now is our school, our Flow English Medium School. We started uh, two years ago with eight children, and now we've grown to 95, and we're just about to expand to a new school, because we've outgrown this one. So far, Engineers Without Borders has been coming for two summers now, and um, well, they've been trying to do some assessments and looking at different projects. I think one of the biggest impacts that they've had on us as a village is through offering a water test and making the villagers aware of uh, where clean water is and the importance of uh, washing hands and um, you know, trying to use soap a little more regularly. <laughs> They've influenced the children in their career paths. They've gone from thinking that when they grow up that they could be gatekeepers or you know, caretakers or hotel workers to actually becoming engineers and having a good life, a much better life than what their parents have been struggling with. My name is Anthony, I'm one of the co-founders of the India team and I'm a mechanical engineering student here at Cal Poly. When we got back to the United States after our first trip to India, we were kind of at a loss for what project we wanted to do. We needed another turn to assess the situation and during that assessment we were also going to implement a small corn kernel removing device. This is going to help us see how the village reacted to um, outside help and it was something that we could implement very easily. Um, and with very little cost. 10 out of the 25 households in Sanji don't have access to a toilet. That means they're out practicing open defecation and that's a problem for the farmers working in the fields around the village. In upcoming trips, we're gonna help the villagers of Sanji implement sustainable wastewater solutions, which will reduce the environmental impact and the occurrences of disease. In all aspects of the project, including the implementation and even the design, villagers are going to play an enormous role in this to make sure that this project is truly there. I'm Naomi Wentworth, I'm a third year, um, I'm an architect.
architectural engineering student, and I'm on the India team. I've been in EWB for three years, since my freshman year. <laughs> I think my best memory in EWB was on the initial assessment trip when we were all doing our household interviews, and Casey and I walked into one household um, that we sat down and listened to their story, which is basically that they were really happy and healthy and got married and then just started getting really, really sick and had no idea why, to the point that they were bedridden and couldn't even go outside to pick their own food. And um, this was just, it was a really sad moment in EWB, but it was also one of the moments that I was most glad to be in it, because that's what EWB is all about. It's about helping people help themselves when they don't even really know where to begin.
I'm working here to make a lot of difference. To make a difference. I'm working to make a difference. I'm working to make a difference.